Hello, dear children. I welcome you to today's radio learning program. This is Teacher Mary. I'm going to be teaching you social studies, specifically for people. So parents, please help our children and check if they will be doing the work correctly. Children, are you ready? Do you have your notebooks and pens? And you need the notebook so that you note down the notes and exercises I will be giving you. So get a notebook and get your pens ready. So can we do a recap of what we learned in the last lesson? What did we learn in the last lesson? Well done. Thank you. We learned about harmony and leadership. And we also looked at the acceptable and unacceptable behavior where the acceptable behavior helps to promote harmony and peace in the community. In summary, we looked at harmony and leadership in the community. Today, we are going to learn about important places and public assets in our district. We are going to learn about important places and public assets in our district. And if at all you have a P4 SST textbook, you can open on page 60, 60 and 61. You will find today's topic. You can check on page 60 and 61 in P4 SST textbook. So children, let us do this warm up together. Can you put your pens down and the books? Can you all stand up and do this warm up with me? Let us go. I'll be reading one activity. Then you will respond by saying, I do, I do. If you do it. Actually, don't lie. If you do it, you say, I do, I do. If you don't do it, maybe you can say, I don't, I don't. Okay? So let us go. Reading, I do, I do. Writing, I do, I do. Smiling, I do, I do. Laughing, I do, I do. Clapping, I do, I do. Studying, I do, I do. Okay, can we do it again? Reading. I do, I do. Writing, I do, I do. Smiling, I do, I do. Laughing, I do, I do. Clapping, I do, I do. Studying, I do, I do. Laughing, I do, I do. Jumping, I do, I do. Well done, children. Can you sit down? So today... We are going to learn about important places and public assets in our districts, as I said earlier. We are going to learn about important places and public assets in our district. So what are important places? What are they and what do we mean by important places? So now, we need to know if something is important, it has value. If something is important, it has value. If they tell you that that person is important, know he has value. If they tell you something is important, just know it has value. It needs to be respected. So an important place is a place we should visit, we should care for and look after, and it also means we preserve and protect it because it has value. Important place is a place we should visit, We should care for, look after, and also preserve and protect it because it has value. So, there are so many important places we find in our district. Do you know some of the important places in your district where you live in? If you stay in Chichichiro, Gasabo, what are those important places? If you are from Nyamagawe or Butare, do you know the important places there? Have you visited them? Have you seen people taking care of them? Okay, let us mention the important places. Then you will know which particular places are in your area. So these are the important places. The museum. We have a museum. 
This is where things of value are kept and shown. In a museum, there are things of value are kept and are shown. So the museum is a place where things of value are kept and shown. So children, do you know a museum? Have you visited any museum? The National Museum? And we find a National Museum in Butari. So have you managed to visit it? Okay. So another important place, we have the Genocide Memorial Sites. These places help us to honor and remember the victims of genocide. The Genocide Memorial Sites, they help us to honor and remember the victims of genocide. So children always be able to go and visit those places to honor the people who died in the genocide. So another important place is the game parks and the national parks. Here, our animals and plants are looked after. In the game parks and the national parks, animals, plants are kept in those places and they are looked after in those particular places. So it is also an important place. We have public gardens. Children, have you seen public gardens? Have you visited them? So the public gardens, anybody can go there to enjoy themselves. You can go there, sit, relax. If you have a book to read, read it. So there are gardens where anyone can go and enjoy himself and relax. Yeah. So there are so many important places. Now, I'm also going to give you a chance to list some of important places you know in your area. Can you write them in your notebooks? Okay, well done. So, now we are going to mention with examples the particular important places we have in Rwanda. We are going to mention the examples like the national parks. We are going to mention examples. The museum, we looked at other examples and so many other important places which can be visited and protected in Rwanda. So we said the museum and we had said the museum is where we keep things of value which are kept and shown. So a museum in Rwanda is found in Huye. The museum is found in Huye. We have the National Art Gallery in Nyanza. We have a national Art Gallery in Nyanza. Then the King's Palace Museum is also found in Nyanza. We have a King's Palace Museum, which is found in Nyanza. We also have an important place, which is the Presidential Palace Museum in Kigali, Kanombe. The Presidential Palace Museum in Kigali, Kanombe. We also have a natural history museum, the natural history museum, which is found in Kigali. We find the national history museum in Kigali. We also have an environmental museum at Karonji, an environmental museum at Karonji. Then we have also the National Liberation Park Museum, which is known as Omurindi Wintwari. We have the National Liberation Park Museum known as Umurindi Wintwari. So the national parks are also important places. And we said they are places where our animals, birds, fish, trees, plants are protected. So what are those national parks we have in Rwanda? We have the Akajera National Park. Akajera National Park. We also have the Nyungwe National Park. Nyungwe National Park. We have also the Volcanoes National Park. The Volcanoes National Park. We always find the mountain gorillas in the Volcanoes National Park. Come along and play with Welcome back, children. Remember, we are looking at the important places we have in Rwanda. We said we have museum and we have so many museums. We have the National Museum, we have the King's Palace Museum, Presidential Palace Museum, we have the Environmental Museum, and we also looked at the National Parks. 
where we have the Kajera National Park, Nyungwe National Park, the Volcanoes National Park. So now we are going to look at the public assets in our district. The public assets in our districts. But before that, let us do this warm up of a tongue twister. A warm up of a tongue twister. Can you say this? She sells seashells by the seashore. Let us do it together. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Well done, children. So, we said we are going to look at what public assets are. So, what are public assets? What are public assets? Public assets is something that belongs to all Rwandans. A public asset is something that belongs to all Rwandan. The opposite of public is private. The opposite of public is private. Meaning something which is private, it is for one person, for one individual or few people. It is not for everyone. But when something is public, it is for everyone. Everyone is entitled to use it, to touch it, and even see it. So then, if something is public, it means we can all go there, we can all use it, we can all touch it. So an asset is something valuable. An asset is something valuable or something of value. So an asset has value or it is worth. It is something we don't need to waste or to lose. It is something we should not lose or waste or mishandle it. So whenever something is of value, we need to use it carefully. We need to handle it very well and we need not to waste it. So it helps us to preserve them. If we handle them well, we are able to preserve them and we are able to handle them very well. So now, what are those examples of public assets we have in Rwanda? The assets that we know everyone is entitled to them. Everyone is able to use them, touch them, and even go there. What are the examples? Can you write them in your notebooks? Can you share with someone seated next to you? Well done, children. So the examples of public assets are, we have water sources. And have you managed to visit the water sources where you go and draw water, collect water from? We have the taps which are general where everyone can go, buy water, and use it. So water sources like rivers, lakes, are for everyone. Anyone can use them. You can use them for water. You can use them to pick something from there. So everyone is entitled to use the water sources. The marketplaces. Marketplaces where we buy items we need at home. So marketplaces belong to everyone, to every Rwandan. You can go pick items. You can go buy anything you want from the marketplace. Courts. In courts, this is where cases are handled. There are people who have cases of stealing, of doing so many other bad things. So they are handled in courts. And everyone can go to court. It is not specifically for certain group of people. It is for all Rwandans. Schools. I know children, you all go to school. So everyone is able to access a school. So we can all be able to go to schools and study. It is not for particular people. Police station. Police station, this is where the policemen are found. This is where policemen are able to solve cases of people or they solve conflicts at the police station. If you have any problem, you can report it at the police station. So police stations are for everyone. Hospitals, it is also a public place. A hospital is where sick people are treated from. So whenever you're sick, you can visit the hospital. The hospital is for everyone. We also have places of worship, churches, mosques. People are entitled to go there and worship or pray to God from there. So there are so many other public assets. Can you continue mentioning some and you write them in your notebooks? Okay, can you share with a person seated next to you? And you tell them what they do in those public assets. What do they do there? What can you get from there? Okay, well done, children. So now, we have said public assets, they are things that belong to all people. We also need to know that 
we have to preserve and protect the public assets. We should not mishandle them or misuse them because they are for the public. Even if they are for the public, we also need to preserve them and protect them because we shall keep getting resources from there. We shall keep getting services from there. So we need to preserve them and also protect them. So how can we preserve and protect our public assets? How can you protect the school? How can you protect the water sources, the marketplaces, police stations? How do you protect them and preserve them? Are you thinking about that? Well done. So this is how you can preserve and protect the public assets. We all have to care for and look after our public assets. How do we take care of them? We make sure that places like water sources are not polluted, like rivers and lakes. We should not throw anything in the rivers and lakes. And also marketplaces. We should not throw litter or papers or anything in any kind of place. Pick them and throw them in the proper places. So we need to take care of them and look after the public assets. We must respect our public assets. We need to give them value. And when you give them value, they are preserved, they are protected. We should also look after them, just like we look after our homes. You know, at our homes, we always make sure that our homes are clean, the compound is clean, the items are in right places. So even public assets, we need to look after them and make sure that they are clean, the items and everything is in the right place. We also preserve our public places by not wasting the resources. For example, the water sources. In the water sources, we need to keep our water clean and also not waste it. We must care for our hospitals. If we don't, we will have nowhere to go for treatment when we are sick. They need to be maintained and kept clean so that when sick people go there, they are able to find good and healthy facilities. So we have to protect our marketplaces. If we don't, we will have no place to sell and buy goods which are in good conditions. And also the area will not look nice and people will not go there. If the marketplace is not good, people will not be able to go there. So we can also preserve our public assets if we keep them clean and not litter. Never break or harm things. Don't write on trees or walls and destroy things which are in public assets. Come along and play with Welcome back, children. We have already looked at how we can preserve and protect our public assets. And we said the public assets are water sources, marketplaces, schools, police stations, hospitals. Okay, as we conclude this lesson, I'm going to give you homework. You are going to identify the different important and public assets that you have in your area. You're going to identify those different important and public assets you have in your area. So you write them in your books and you'll share with your parents. So thank you so much for paying attention. And even parents, thank you so much for supporting our children. So I hope you'll join me in the next lesson. Bye-bye.